Hello. I thought what I would do in today's tutorial is do another dialogue one, except this time we're going to create a random conversation between two NPCs. So to begin with, we're going to create our NPCs. And I'm just going to leave everything as the default, but I presume you'll want, you'll, you'll have something in mind. But this is going to be the kind of conversation which is it's like a dynamic random conversation, so it won't happen at a set time. NPCs will just choose to have this conversation within... Um, within the uh, AI packages. So we're going to call it Convo NPC 1 and his name's just going to be NPC 1 and his short name NPC 1. And we are going to give him a new AI package. So we're just going to give him... Wait, we won't bother with that. Um, we will add an existing one and just look up default sandbox editor location. And if we double click inside, uh, it, this is what it looks like. And the reason I'm just showing you the inside is because this random conversations box has to be checked. So if you're create, creating your own package, you have to check random conversations, otherwise you won't be able to have them. And then if we skip over to traits here, um, oh, I should have given him a, a, another voice type. We're going to click unique here. I'm just going to create a unique voice type nice and quick. So that... Um, he won't say any of the default dialogue. And then I'm going to return to him now. Convo NPC01. I'm just going to throw in my unique voice type now. Combo voice type. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open him again. And I'm going to create an exactly identical NPC just for the purposes of this tutorial. Who I'll change everything to two. So I've done every, everything is exactly the same. He, he's unique and he's got, you know, the AI packages. He's got the same voice type. He even looks exactly the same, but that's just for the purposes of this tutorial. And so now we're going to want to create a quest. So I'm going to right click new and we're going to call it Convtute Quest. And we'll put it priority 45. And now this isn't your ordinary quest, this is going to be an event quest. So we're going to click here, and we're going to click Act a Dialogue Event, and then we're going to hit OK. And now what that will uh, become relevant later, but this is part of the Story Manager tool, which we will be using in a little in a little while after we've set up our aliases. So we're going to right-click New Reference Alias, and this time it's going to be different to normal. We're not going to be doing a unique item one. We're going to be finding matching reference from event and it's going to automatically select at the dialogue event we um, set first and now this is going to be for whichever NPC you want to speak first and so the first speaker we select that to one and I'm just going to give the name NPC 01 and then we're going to create uh, wait we need to double click back inside actually because we're going to want to add some conditions so that we specifically condition it to a get his ID condition and then we're going to look up the NPC we made before, which was, what was it actually calling? Was it Conv NPC? Tutorial NPC? I actually can't remember what I called him. That's not a good sign. I think I called him Convo NPC, yep. Yeah. Convo NPC 01. So what this is telling us is that Convo NPC 01 is going to represent actor 1. So Convo NPC 1 will be the one who speaks first. So we're going to create another new reference alias, and this is going to be for the NPC who will speak second, so he'll be replying. So I'm just going to give it the name NPC02, and find matching reference from event at the dialogue event, event data, active 2. And we're going to add a new condition, get his ID, and we're going to be searching for convo NPC, uh, there we are, convo NPC2, OK, OK. Okay, now we're going to travel over to our scenes and we're going to set up the dialogue. So we're going to right click new and we're going to create a brand new scene. So let's call it combo tutorial scene. Okay, and we're now going to click new actor, NPC01. Then we're going to add phase end and it'll come up phase one. And then we're going to right click new action dialogue and this is going to be what he will say. So we're going to say Hello, this is some tutorial dialogue. Uh, okay, okay. And now we're going to add phase end, and now we're going to, in the void here, we're going to add a new actor, 
and this time we're going to do NPC02, and he will appear down here. And now we're going to go over to phase 2, and we're going to add a new action, some dialogue. Right click, new, double click inside. You're right. This is some test dialogue. Test dialogue, I've got test in my head, because I've been doing some uh, test stuff today. This is some tutorial dialogue. And we can keep on and on doing this for as long as we want. So um, we can add another new phase at end. And now we're going to go back up to NPC01. And we're going to do a new action, some dialogue. Um, isn't it fun doing tutorials? And again, this can go on and on and on indefinitely. I'll just do one more. So I'll just add a new phase at end, go along and under this phase, I'm going to add some more dialogue. And I'm going to put in your goddamn right. Okay. Okay. And that is our conversation. So we're going to want to click this begin on quest end. And we're going to put stop quest on end as well. And that will be important later on. But basically, when this quest starts, he will say this line, and then phase two, our second NPC will say that his line, and our first NPC will say that line, and our second NPC will say that line. So that is how the phase will run. So we're going to hit OK and save. And now we're going to visit the story manager, which is down here. So I just delete that, and the story manager thing will come up. And at the dialogue event, this is what we were working with earlier, when we selected it in the event section. So we get a double click inside actor dialogue event and all this stuff's going to come up. Uh, if you can't see any of this, if you click expand all, uh, it'll come out like a massive amount. But we're going to want to, you see here we've got under random conversations, we've got these stacked branch nodes, settlement conversations, stacked branch nodes, dungeon conversations. We're going to want to create on a new uh, branch node down here and we're going to give it an ID. Tutorial uh, conversation. And now it should come up looking like tutorial conversation. And now, if you go down here, we have um, this stacked quest node down here. So, if we do new quest node, our own stacked quest node will appear. And we're going to hit tutorial. Uh, Quest node, just give it an ID. Click off it, and as you'll see here, we have some quests here, and this is what we're going to do down here. We're going to add quests, and we're going to have to search for the quest we made earlier, which I called. Um, Blooming neck, what did I call it? Conv tutorial, there we go, Conv tut quest. And now that showed up, and we're going to put hours until reset. And so this will be how long it'll be before they can save that thing again. So five hours. I mean, some of the in-game ones use 12 hours. But again, this won't really come in into play in our tutorial. It genuinely does not matter. And boom, boom, boom. And that actually should be everything. Because now we've got, we've created our AI packages which allow random conversations. We've created our random conversation quest. And we've incorporated it into the story manager. So... Now what will happen is, eventually, our um, our NPCs, while they're wandering around doing their thing, will choose to speak to one another, provided they're close by enough. And after they do that, um, it will trigger the actor dialogue event, which will load up our quest and they'll speak. So I'm going to put them into the world, and I'm going to put them nice and close by one another. Forever following the flame. I shouldn't really speak to on these bits. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back in because I've just loaded up the thing. So what have I got? Oh, right here at the top, that's convenient. Combo NPC 1. 
and identical looking combo NPC too. Now these guys won't have any player dialogue or anything like that. If you wanted to add player dialogue, you would have to create a new quest that was just using the standard methods that we've used in previous tutorials, but I won't go through that here. So these guys are set up, so they've got their packages in them already. Now these packages are very, very basic. It will just keep them within a very small radius nearby their editor location, as I've got here. So I've chosen them um, default package editor location and its radius is 512 so they will stay very close by one another and anybody within the radius of 512 is eligible to be spoken to but obviously they've only got there's only two of them uh, in the conversation so he will so NPC 1 will always choose NPC 2 and they'll approach and begin the conversation now I'm going to uh, drop out of this and just actually quickly record some dialogue for them so that when we go into the game we're not sitting around for ages waiting for it to play through but um it doesn't really matter this is not relevant to the tutorial me recording the dialogue so next time you see this i will be in the game okay i'm in the game and there are my npcs i don't know how long it'll take them before they speak to each other so uh, I, sh I might end up cutting some stuff out hopefully it won't take too long though i think the problem is i've got quite a lot to do here hello no oh, oh, oh. This is some tutorial dialogue. Isn't it fun doing tutorials? You're goddamn right. Oh, there we go, that wasn't too long. We spoke to one another, and you can hear the horrible, horrible girl voice that I did. So now, in five hours' time, they will reset and speak to each other again. So, that was that, basically. I hope that was uh, easy to follow. Relatively simple tutorial again today. You, but, uh, yeah, I hope that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.